Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So this is my back to school haul for 2020. I feel like these holidays have just gone so slow and I'm so ready to get back into the school routine. I did my shopping yesterday and I'm going to show you guys everything that I brought for year 11. I'm kind of scared. It's getting serious now. So this is going to be all of the stationery that I've got. Uh, my new shoes, how I covered my books, drink bottles, everything that you could imagine that you need for school. I have got it in this haul. So this year I'm really focusing on being more eco-friendly and saving money because we want to go on lots of holidays this year. So a few things I've used from previous years but like cleaned and touched up. Most of my books last year we only used like three pages because everything was on our computers. So I ripped out the pages, put them in a folder and then now I'm just using last year's books and recovered them. So yeah, let's just get into the haul. Okay, so we're going to start off with the books because that's probably my favourite thing. So for five of my school books, I did my own DIY covering and I covered them like this. First of all, I wrapped them in white wrapping paper. Then I made a photo collage as aesthetic as I could. And all of these photos mean something to me. I'll quickly go through what they are. We've got space because I love space. Plane, travel because I love travelling. Uh, snowboarding because I went snowboarding about this time last year and it was the best Thing I've ever done. Beach, I love the beach. Harry Styles, love Harry Styles. New York, because I want to go there. Paris, Eiffel Tower, because my name is Paris, and of course, I just have to go see the Eiffel Tower if my name's Paris. Um, smoothie, love smoothies. Camera, because I love filming. A ride, because I love show rides. Sydney, I want to live there when I'm older, and another beach, because why not? Okay, so I've done that for five of my books. They're all just the same. Then I've got some random book covers because I ran out of paper. Oh, by the way, my books were all from Officeworks this year. I find they're the cheapest and I just love Officeworks. So I got this one. It's just covered how it is. Then I've got this one. This is kind of ugly now looking at it, but I thought it was okay before. I just brought like a normal book and then put this cover on. You can take it on off and on. It was like a dollar or something. And I thought this would be good for geography because it's kind of got like different places on it. But it's kind of hideous now. Oh well. Then I have got this one for English. And I won't forget that this is English because it's got title there. And then I've just got a spare maths book because I find that, that book goes the quickest. So these are my school books for this year. And then to keep them organised, my school uses these coloured folders. Each colour is coordinated with a subject. I only know that red is science, green is maths, um, and that's about it. It's gonna all gonna change this year because everyone's doing different subjects. I'll put one book in each folder and then I'll know like what books for what subject. The amount of times at my old school when I didn't have them, I'd rock up to lesson with the wrong book because they had the same covers. It was not a fun time. Okay, next thing, um, I got these fancy smancy highlighters. They're like pastel colors, something different. I hope these work well, surely. And my drink bottle this year is this fancy oh, it's dripping. Is a hydro flask. I don't even know if this is a hydro flask. It's just some sort of bottle metal thing. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I was sent this by a fitness brand. I can't remember what the name is. That's probably bad. I'll put it on the screen. And I actually really like it. So now I understand what the hype is with hydro flask because they're actually really good. And it's really like satisfying to drink out of. I don't know. Something different about these that are really good. But should I decorate it? Should I not? Did I just spill water on me? Wow. And then by the brand Puma from Intersport, I brought myself some new shoes for PE. They look really long, but it's just because the back's really thick. My feet aren't that long. So they look like this. They were $140. I brought them with my birthday voucher. Yay. I really wanted some new shoes. Ones that were just like black but then also had a bit of something something to them. These can be good for the gym and also school too. So it's a win-win there. And my pencil case for this year is this one. It's not new but I'm pretty sure you can still find it in surf shops. I've had it for like, I don't know, three years or something. Last year I had this tiny, tiny one. It just did not work for me. It was just always bulging. I couldn't fit my calculator in. So... This one I think will be much better. And my favourite pens in the whole entire world are these types of pens. So I've got black and blue. No doubt I'm probably going to lose these by the first week. But that's my goal for this year, not to lose any pens. I mean, I'm probably going 
to fail, but we can try. I definitely recommend these pens if you haven't tried them. They're so smooth to write with and they make my writing look a million times neater. And then for lead pencils, I just got boring, what are these? 4B lead pencils. That was just the cheapest ones. Oh my gosh. This roller is just the funnest, bestest thing in the world. And of course, it has my name on it. It's a Paris themed bendy ruler. I had one of these for probably four years and it broke last year and I was devastated. So I had to get myself a fresh one. I love it. Like when it gets more flexible, you can like fling it at people. If it's too long for your pencil case, you just fold it and it fits in perfectly. Love foldy rulers. And then for my scissors, I just got small purple ones because I only need small ones and the big ones are just too annoying. A definite must have for year 11 is some sticky notes, especially if you're doing English. So when we're doing a class double, we had to like quote reference things and it just is so annoying going through your book, flicking through, trying to find some pages. So have some sticky notes on hand. That will save you a lot of time if you like need to reference things later on. Then I got myself a Sharpie because there'll be some time in your school year when everyone needs a Sharpie for something you're asking, who's going to sharpie, who's going to... No one has one, so I'm prepared this year. I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but I know I need it for something. Then I've got some wide out. That's a definite must have too, because, you know, you just can't erase things with pens. So get some wide out. And this one's really fun because it's like the nail polish one. So you can like paint things as well. I just got a boring glue stick. I think this one is blue. Oh no, it's clear. It's just the cheapest one I could find. And then for an eraser, I got myself the Faber-Castell brand. I swear by this brand. It's so good. Don't go buying yourself the cheapest eraser because it will show. It is cheap erasers are cheap. This brand is so, so good. Don't you do that. I love it so much. It just is really good quality. And it's not even expensive either. It's just, just opt for this brand, not your cheap ones. And then... For a sharpener. I used to use this in year three all the time. This is like my favorite thing in the world. This is a sharpener, but then at the top, um, it's an eraser. So two in one, and this is just really fun to click. Let's get some ASMR going. I can guarantee you'll be in class clicking this all day. Next up, an essential, some sort of perfume, either some impulse or spray or anything. Cause in summer, it gets hot. And if you do PE, you get a bit smelly. I got given this for my birthday. It's this Victoria's Secret roll-on thing. It's so light and portable. So, after a sweaty day, just chuck on some perfume. There you are, you're all refreshed. And on that note, I could not recommend more having some roll-on or spray deodorant in your bag, especially in senior school. I don't have this with me, but I have got this, um, what's it called, a laptop case. It's from Typo. It's getting washed now because Typo is out of stock now. So I need to use my old one. So we're just getting rid of the stains and stuff. It's all wet, but I'll put a photo up on the screen of what it looks like. And next up for school this year, I've got my school laptop. Um, this one's just a cheap Acer. It's lasted me my whole high school career. It's pretty slow now, but like it does the job. This is what I use for school. Looks like that, it's touch screen. You can fold it all the way around. Okay, my next thing, I got this from a university open day. It's this hand highlighter thing magic. And when you need one, you just take out one of the fingers and there you go. But the only bad thing is sometimes they just come off and you find them floating in your pencil case and then they dry out. Next up, I've got myself my calculator. I kind of want to decorate the case. I've seen a few things on TikTok, but it's this, what is this scientific calculator or something? I don't know. It's whatever the fancy one is, $200 one. It's crazy for a calculator. This is a must have for senior school. We need this in our school. I'm not sure if every school does, but. So I'm just reusing this every year and then I'll give it to my sister. She can give it to her kids and we're going to pass it down the family tree because it's so expensive. I probably should have got a lunchbox this year, but I kind of just forgot. Okay, next up, I have just got a boring notepad. Um, you never know when you're going to need something. Like teachers might say, just grab a spare piece of paper or you might be in a class that doesn't really need a book. You just need a notepad sometimes just for random things. So just having something like this in your locker can be pretty helpful sometimes. This... This is my favorite pen in the world. I got given this by my sister. It's just so smooth to write with. So I'm gonna be taking this to school with me. Like I'm pretty sure most people just have that one pen that they use and no one else can borrow. And that for me is this. 
And the next thing is my Fitbit. So, I mean, I'm not saying you guys need this, but this is just something I got and I can use it at school. So, we can't have our phones anymore at school. Sometimes when I had it in my pocket, it would like ring and I can't check it. So, having this, I have my phone calls come up on my watch so I can see who it is and I also get text messages too so I don't need to freak out unless and be like, oh my god, like, what's happening? I've got a message. Did I win the lottery or something? Like, what's happening? So, at least here I can check the messages on my watch. I don't think I can reply to them. At least I can see them. So I reckon that's about it for my back to school haul for this year. I've just got the bare minimum. And lots of these things I've reused from previous years. Um, just to be more eco-friendly. But a few things I did have to buy. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. All that jazz. And I'll see you all in my next video.